Hey friends, Dylan Bates here, the Final Cut Bro. I am so excited to be with you here on the FX Factory YouTube channel. The object tracker in Final Cut Pro is so exciting and I'm really glad that Apple added it to the toolbox. However, it does come with its limitations. So today, I'm gonna show you the differences between the object tracker in Final Cut Pro and some of the amazing callouts that are found on the FX Factory store. So if you've installed any callouts from the FX Factory store, you can locate them by going into your titles You'll find them here on the left hand side. I'm going to be taking a look at the premium VFX callouts today, but there are so many other amazing callouts there on the FX Factory store. So we're going to take a look at the premium VFX minimal callouts, and I'm going to go ahead and just drag one down to the timeline. Now you're going to see it brings in all of these amazing on screen controls. If I move forward a bit, we can see kind of the final effect, and we can move these on screen controls to get our callout in the location that we want. So let's say I just kind of want to put this off to the left hand side and we want it pointing at the camera. Now currently, if we wanted to use the object tracker, all we would do with that callout selected is select the transform tool. You can also get that with shift T. Then we would jump up into the tracker options. That'll create a tracker. I'm going to hold shift and click on this edge to shrink down the object tracker down to the size of the camera. Once we are happy, we would push analyze and that will track through. Now that it's tracked, I'm actually going to click on this down arrow and I'm going to disable rotation so that our callout doesn't rotate at all with the camera. So now if we play through, we should have a tracked on callout, but you'll see a few problems. If you look closely, because of the way this particular tracker worked, it actually has some strange wobbles happening up in the tracking, as well as the entire text box is actually moving along with the camera. So if we wanted to lock that text box in place and only have this small line pointing to the camera, we wouldn't be able to do that. And that is where the amazing tracker in these callouts comes into play. So I'm gonna drop in callout number eight from the minimal callouts pack, and I'm gonna go ahead and go to the first frame. All you're gonna do is find this little rectangle box and that is where your actual tracker is happening. All you're gonna do is come to the bottom of your screen and you'll see a few additional options. We have track one object. So if you only wanna call out one object, you can do that. If you wanna track two objects, you can also do that. That is for if you wanna have two separate lines happening on the same call out. Once we have that tracker set in place, all we're gonna do is push the track forward button. But what I wanna do really quickly is just so that the track is a little bit smoother, I'm actually gonna go over to the right, find the object tracker options, and you'll see the smoothing options. Right now it's set to low. Let's go ahead and set that to medium. Once I've done that, you'll see it brings up this dialogue window telling me that it's gonna need to be tracked again. Fortunately, we haven't tracked it at all, so that is totally fine. We're gonna go ahead and push okay. So that is a really nice feature that the callouts actually have. You can change the smoothness of the tracking so that if your track is struggling a little bit and it has some of those weird wobbles, it'll smooth it right out and it looks really, really nice. Now that we have that set up, we can go on over to the track forward option and press that. It's gonna bring up this dialog window showing us exactly how the tracker is working. So now if we play through, we can actually see that the callout is tracked to this camera just like it was with the object tracker. But that is where this callout actually excels. If we want this text to just be locked into place, we can come over to the right hand side and you'll find this pin callout checkbox. Go ahead and check that. And now if you watch, this line is going to be moving along with the camera, whereas the callout is going to stay completely in place. So now we can move this callout over to the left hand side. If we wanted this line to be in a different location, we could bring it down here to underneath the amazing pack line. Finally, we could move this circle to be right in the center of the camera lens. So let's say we wanted to advertise what kind of lens this was. I have no idea what kind of lens this was, but let's say it's a 200 millimeter lens and it is an F 0.2 because it is the most wide open an aperture you ever saw. And then we could of course also change the size on the rectangle so that it matches exactly where that F 0.2 is. So now we have all of those options. If I go ahead and disable the on-screen controls that it's perfectly tracked to this camera. It looks really nice and elegant. We could re-enable those on-screen controls, maybe drag this line up to the corner of the two. 
And now if we're having a hard time reading it, these callouts also have a ton of extra features that you can go through and change. So let's say we wanna change the actual colors going on. Maybe we will change the color of the 200 millimeter to match our FX factory branding. We could change that bar to match the FX factory branding, maybe do a darker line there. We can just keep going through each of these options. We'll change that rectangle, so on and so forth until we're happy. And we could also change the thickness on this line. And then what's really cool, we could select this midpoints option and that will give us this alternate angle for our point. So I'm gonna go back and enable the on-screen controls and close out the colors. So now I can move this point to another location if you want kind of these nice straight lines from point A to point B. But what's even cooler is let's say we wanted that to actually be a rounded line. Well, going back down to the midpoints section, we can go to the bend lines slider drag that up and now that is going to be a bent line. So again, disabling those on-screen controls, we can see that line and it's very tiny. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the thickness of that line just so you can see it a bit better. And we can of course change the color on that. We could maybe do a darker color and we could bring the opacity up to a full hundred. So now we have this line drawing in just like so. And finally, if we wanted the icon, so that little circle to match our branding, we could change the color of that and of course bring in the thickness. So we now have this really nice looking call out that completely matches the branding of our company and it's fully tracked to that camera while still locking in our text into the location we want. And if you decide, oh, I don't actually want that text locked in, you can of course disable the pin call out and now it will move along with the camera just like so. And having that feature of smoothing out the track is really so nice. I cannot overstate how much that can actually fix a track if you are having some trouble in the middle. So that is some of the benefits of actually picking up one of these callout plugins. And again, look at how many amazing callouts there are. There's so many different options to work with. You can bring in percentages. There's also these other paragraph callouts, which are really nice if you have a large block of text that you wanna bring in. They all come in with trackers, which is exceptional and really helps to elevate your video production to the next level. So if these are interesting to you, make sure you hit up the links in the description. My name is Dylan Bates, the Final Cut Bro. I am so glad I got to hang out with you today on the FX Factory YouTube channel. Make sure you press like and subscribe if you are interested in seeing more videos just like this. With that being said, I cannot wait to see you in the next one.